So, how did their love story begin? It was June of 2004, they met at summer school at Northern Illinois University in DeKalb. It was a retail marketing class and he had noticed her around school but never stopped to talk to her. His first impression was how she wore summer dresses. In between classes, he's sitting on a stair and she goes outside to get some sun and walks by him. He starts a conversation about recent trips to Europe and after a few minutes, she walks away. <laughs> he thinks, she really does not like me, this is going nowhere. Actually, she just has a short attention span. <laughs> That's a quote from the bride. Her first impression that he is the class clown for he was wearing an afro. <laughs> A few weeks later, they see each other at a bar, and she says to him, hey, good looking. He is surprised. He thinks, she showed interest in me. They chat, but only for a few minutes. He asked Davy, an usher today, do you think I have a shot with this girl? Davy replies, absolutely not. <laughs> in the fall, they are in the same class with only 12 people in it. Like Donald Trump's show, someone gets fired each week. They end up on the same team and have to work together. She likes him, but he does not know it. He likes her, but she does not know it. They are so nervous working together, but they do get second place. They become friends and hang out together. She was waiting for him to make a move. It took him two months. He was not sure what they were, and he did not want to risk losing it, whatever it was. They start dating for three or four months. And then Valentine's Day, 2005. She thought they were going to go out. He cooks dinner for her at home. She thinks he's being romantic. He's just poor. <laughs> he's frazzled. He asks his sister, Nikki, a bridesmaid, how to make chicken pop ricoche. He's nervous about her being a vegetarian, but the meal is delicious, and she thinks he's a great cook. During dessert, he gives her a single red rose. He tells her for the first time that he loves her, and then quickly adds, but you don't have to say anything back. I just wanted to let you know. She replies, I love you too. She had been waiting for him to make the first move, and they've been dating ever since. Together, they enjoy traveling and eating out and drinking with friends. <laughs> How did Matthew propose to Colleen? It was September 30th, 2008 in Cinque Terre, Italy. The name means Land of Five, and there are five storybook towns with their own churches teetering on the edge of a mountain. And there's a path that you walk between the towns with the best beaches and food. Matthew had brought a wrapped gift on the trip for her birthday. She shook the gift and even got the wrapping paper half opened. She almost ruined the surprise for herself. They're walking between two towns on the Via del Amore, the street of love. They climb down a cliff out to a large boulder in the middle of the Mediterranean. They have to jump to get on the boulder. They are the only ones on it. He's trying to find the right moment to propose. Due to her short attention span, she's wandering around. <laughs> he gets nervous. Then he shows her a photo from when they first met, when they were young and awkward, and they talk about their past, and they had been through so much together. Then he drops to one knee and opens the ring box. He starts off with an apology. I apologize for not doing this earlier, he says. I should have done this a long, long time ago. He then asks her, will you spend the rest of your life with me? She responds with the words every guy hopes to hear. Are you serious? <laughs> He is sure of her response, though, for she takes the ring, but she cannot remember which finger it should go on. To which he says to her, are you serious? <laughs> At some point, she does say yes. And from the moment he asked her to marry him, the sky cleared and the sun started to shine. It was sunny for the next four hours as they finished walking the cliffs. And as they got back to their hotel, it started to rain again. And that's what brings us to today. <laughs>